have a traditional phone mount or car mount in my car, so this is what we're working with. This is, I'm very much a rig it and put it together because I'm too cheap to spend the money to actually buy the thing, so someday I will, maybe, probably not. This video is going to be a um, grocery haul, which I'm excited about. I haven't posted a YouTube video in, I don't know, it's been a while. I only posted a few. I've mostly been focusing on Instagram right now, um, but I just, I love YouTube. I love watching videos. I love watching these kind of videos, so they always inspire me to live a healthier life and do better, so I, I'm hoping to also inspire somebody else out there. During this whole quarantine, I think I've gotten out to the grocery store very small handfuls, like a small handful of times, but it's just mostly because I, I don't know, I get enough anxiety when I'm going grocery shopping, especially if I'm going to Walmart, which I'm definitely not going to Walmart, I'm going to stop and shop, but I get enough anxiety when things are normal going to the store, not always, but sometimes. But right now with everything, I just, I don't know, I get enough anxiety as it is, so I'm putting on my big girl pants today though, <laughs> and I'm really like, I don't know, it's fine, it'll be fine, I'm not really anxious about it, I'm just, I've been avoiding <laughs> and my husband's been taking care of everything for me because he's very much uh, an enabler <laughs> bless his heart um, so I'm done avoiding I've put on my big girl pants I'm going to the grocery store I'm gonna wear my mask keep my social distance from people which is actually technically like how I prefer it I'm very much a personal space person so having to leave six feet between me and the next person I am completely okay with but yeah so <laughs> All of that to say, this is going to be a fun video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel to see more because we'll have fun together. And if not, you can just listen to me ramble on for, I don't know, however long this video is going to be. So. wear those masks all day long. Thank you to those of you who have to go through that. Um, I couldn't do it. I could barely breathe wearing the mask I was wearing for the 25 minutes I was in there. So yeah, much respect. I got a lot more than I had actually initially planned on getting. So like a hundred and I don't know, $120 later, here we are. I'm going to start with the produce. I got some lettuce. Um, I usually get butter lettuce, but the butter lettuce that they had was like really gross looking, so we got some watermelon for the kids. I also got some kombucha. So these are my favorite. Um, this is my favorite brand of kombucha. I have tried, I don't know what the brand, like the name is. I've tried a bunch of different kombuchas and I've had homemade. Homemade kombucha is by far my favorite. This is my second favorite though. This. Most kombuchas have like a funky aftertaste, and these ones don't have that. And it, I think it's because they put a little, just a little bit of um, juice in here, and it helps cut that kombucha flavor. So I really love kombucha. I'm a big um, proponent of gut health probiotics for me, myself. I've taken them for, you know, 10 years now. Um, and I just definitely notice a difference for myself. A pineapple, because I love pineapple, and fun fact, pineapples are high in digestive enzymes. I love pineapple, this is one of my favorite fruits. I have to have it fresh. If I buy pineapple already cut, it just grosses me out. And even like this, sitting in the juice for a while, I can't eat it, so I like eat it as fast as I can. My protein powder. And this is something that I would consider a supplement. Um, I don't include this in my diet every day. I just, I incorporate it when I know that I'm not going to be giving a lot of protein in my day. Um, I'll throw it into my oatmeal, which is typically how I'll get it in, or I'll make a shake. Uh, a butternut squash. Got some avocados. Uh, the kids really love avocado. I try to eat them, but they usually eat them on me. But I like the taste of it. Not everybody does, but I do have to say, it's not good unless you season it, at least in my opinion. So I always throw salt, pepper, and sometimes garlic, depending on what I'm eating it with. But yes, season your avocados, it's okay. I got a couple of 
grapefruit. I haven't bought grapefruit in, I don't know how long. I used to eat these like every day, and then I think I OD'd on them or something, but I felt like I was in the mood for some grapefruit. Now that it's getting warmer, I feel like this is a really good like summer fruit, so I'm excited to have some grapefruit. Blueberries, some blueberries. Um, the boys usually eat these. Sometimes I'll snack on a handful of them, but um, my sons really love blueberries and I try to get like any kind of fruit that I can get in them. They eat a ton of banana and apple, so every once in a while I like to switch it up with something like this. This is obviously for the kids. I, we don't always get juice, but every once in a while I'll grab juice. They usually just drink milk and water, but for something a little bit different for them to just kind of mix it up a little bit, we got some juice. I got some dates. But I like to just eat these plain. I like to put peanut butter on them, um, and that's usually all I do with them. There's probably more recipes out there with dates, and if you have any good ones, drop a comment and let me know. Because um, baby carrots, I also get a bag of just regular carrots too because I'll cut those up, and I like to make them mix them with broccoli because it just the two kind of um, complement each other. So I like to mix it. But I am trying this, which I'm actually kind of excited about, if you can see it. I don't know if I've watched anybody who's had it, but I saw it at the store and I thought that it looked interesting. So I'm going to try it with some of these carrots and see how it is. I have vegetables. We got some um, celery and then the carrots. And then the celery I usually just eat um, with peanut butter. Gluten-free waffles. Sometimes I'll have one of these, these waffles are mostly for the kids. This is also for the kids, but actually this brand, this Blake's, um, what is this, the chicken pot pie, they didn't have the gluten-free crust, and honestly, I like the gluten-free crust better because I feel like it crisps up and it has a really good taste. This one's good too. The kids will eat it, so that's a cool little thing. Uh, just easy meal that if I don't have something cooked already, I can just give them that. These are for me. I love these. These have really good macros too. These ones aren't bad. I usually get like the patties. These ones are the links, but um, 110 calories, nine grams of protein, two carbs, and seven grams of fat. So I'm totally coming at you randomly today. I got some chicken and I only bought this because this is all that they had left. Um, but they're the Purdue chicken breast, the individually wrapped. Five of them, I spent $10 on them and that really, really hurts knowing that I did that. but. Because normally, what is this, a pound, a pound and a half? Normally, I would spend probably six or seven dollars on a pound and a half of chicken. So, yeah, I was way overcharged for this, but they had nothing left. They have Ezekiel bread. I haven't bought Ezekiel bread in a while. We've been buying Dave's Best. Dave's Best, I think, is what it is. Um, I think Ezekiel bread is gluten free. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Because it says it's flourless. But I'm also, I don't see anything on here about it being gluten-free. It's sprouted wheat, I think. Is this sprouted wheat? Oh, it is sprouted wheat. Why does it say it's flourless when it's sprouted wheat? We're almost done. I have some snacks. This is one that I have regularly. The Quaker White Cheddar Rice Cakes. These are my favorite. Um, we got some tortilla chips. I'll usually buy some chips just to have like something on hand. Some more stuff for the kids, although I do like to snack on these. It's like a little, uh, kind of like a Chex Mix almost, but the Aunt Annie's brand, so a little bit tastes a lot of it better for you. It's still junk food, but we got some cereal for the kids. Okay, this is the last of it. I have never tried, I've had RX bars before. I have never tried this flavor. This one's peanut butter, and this one is chocolate chip. Whoop, dang it. So these are one of my favorites just because the ingredients are really good. It's literally dates, egg whites, almonds, cashews, chocolate, sea salt, natural, natural flavors. These ones are a healthier version of Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids, yeah. I didn't think about it. I think I called them Cabbage Patch Kids last time. Um, these are really good and there's only 3 grams of sugar in the whole entire bag. Open it. Let's open this. And I like how you get like nothing. <laughs> you get nothing in there, but this is what they look like. And they're really, really good. They taste like a Sour Patch Kid. And then these ones, these ones are like a Swedish fish. They don't taste, they don't taste like a Swedish fish. Okay. 
I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. They are really good. They kind of remind me of a, like a gummy. Um, well, they are a gummy, but they remind me of like a natural fruit gummy, which is pretty much what it is. <laughs> Close. Are we getting ice cream? Yeah, ice cream. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. I'm excited. Are you excited, Grayson? Yeah, we're we gonna get ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah. we're gonna get ice cream. Are you excited? <laughs> You're excited for ice cream? Yay! <laughs> Tommy, how do you like it? It's really good. It's really good. 